Now, it could be that your art studio space, you don't really care about it. It's okay. If you get stains on things, do everything but knock down the walls, it doesn't matter. But if you actually want to maintain the quality of your space and not get things ultra dirty, stained, and otherwise ruined, there are a couple of very easy steps you can do to help protect your art studio space from, um, shall we say, the, uh, the damages of artistic creativity. First off, around your easel or also your table or any area where you have paint and stuff, I mean, when your brush is flicking motion, you're getting really into it. You can have lots of little paint splutters, which are going over here and tapping the wall. So I'm slowly but surely building up a layer. There are a couple of things I've seen artists put on their walls. First off, I've actually seen some people, some artists, use uh, old uh, palettes and put those up on the wall. Because, hey, they got tons of paint on them. This is not really going to hurt them anymore. Also seen people put plastic up all over their walls around their easel area to protect both the furniture and the walls and sometimes the floor. This is a very cheap alternative. Just use your basic painter's drop cloth. It works for the paint you put up on your walls. It'll also work for the art you use, um, the paint that you use to create your art. Lastly, you can also go and get some very inexpensive rugs. Um, these are really great. You can get these on discount. Go to also like, you know, a, a secondhand store. You get lots of really, really cheap rugs. I do advise washing them or at least leaving them out in the cold to make sure there's no mites or other little cre creepy crawlies on there. But this is another nice, very easy way, which you can also make sure that your carpet does not get tons of staining because if you're painting, I guarantee you, there will be mistakes, there will be spills. So do the best you can in advance to cover things up.